If you're one of the early adopters of virtual reality, then you already know that the shooting gallery genre is big right now. The online stores are crowded with games that evoke the spirit of the light gun shooters I grew up playing as a kid. But what if you can't afford VR because you only have, say, $3 in your bank account? Well, let me introduce you to The Walking Zombie, Dead City. A surprisingly good horror-themed shooting gallery that just made the leap from mobile devices to PC. It may not be as immersive as virtual reality, but at least this budget-priced horror game won't make you sick. By now, you know the spiel. The world we once knew has been overtaken by flesh-eating zombies, and the survivors are forced to live out the rest of their existence knowing that death could burst through that door at any moment. This is what happens to a couple of the survivors at the start of The Walking Zombie, Dead City. When one gets bitten by a walker, the other makes a split-second decision to amputate the legs and keep him from turning into one of them. This works, but forces you to kill hundreds of zombies from a stationary position. This is actually a pretty solid excuse for why we're locked into one place and forced to take on wave after wave of undead monsters. Simply put, this is a shooting gallery where the mouse takes the place of a light gun. It's a lot like lethal enforcers in Virtua Cop, only instead of shooting at criminals that pop up out of nowhere, there are zombies coming at you from all sides. At less than $5, this isn't exactly the deepest game. You'll play through 200 bite-sized stages, earning money that can be used to buy upgrades and new weapons. You'll end up running into a bunch of nasty boss fights along the way, along with a few bonus stages for extra points. Outside of buying new weapons and equipping a grenade or two, there really isn't much else to this game. But in the case of The Walking Zombie Dead City, simplicity is a good thing. Instead of making things more complicated than they need to be, this game puts most of its focus into throwing new types of enemies at you. And it's not just zombies, but oversized rats, bats, and spiders. There are clown zombies, punk zombies, suicide bomber zombies, and even zombies that walk on the ceilings. Even without a light gun, this formula is undeniably fun, and there's enough content to keep you glued to the screen for several action-packed hours. Now, while the leap from mobile devices to PC has been a relatively smooth one, there's still moments that remind you that it was originally intended to be played on a phone or tablet. For one thing, there are times when the game flat out tells you to tap the screen to skip a cinema. The fact that most stages last well under a minute also feels like a relic from the portable roots. There are other times where you'll need to press a button to reload or throw a grenade, things that could have easily been mapped to the unused right mouse button. The real problem here is the inherent repetition that comes from this type of shooting gallery. Sure, the game is good about throwing new enemies at you, and you're always buying new guns, but all this becomes a bit monotonous after a while. It's also a little too easy. I don't know, perhaps it was more challenging on mobile devices, but I found that I had no problem speeding through most of the stages using the mouse. As fun as The Walking Zombie Dead City can be, it's not the kind of game you'll want to play in one sitting. Although not as flashy as some of the better light gun games over the last 20 years, The Walking Zombie Dead City proves to be a fun little shooting gallery at an attractive price. I like the variety of enemies, the locations, and especially the bosses, which are often big and pack a real punch. It's a little too easy and the repetition may get to you after extended plays, but The Walking Zombie Dead City is certainly worth $3. This was a real surprise. Hey, thanks for watching our review. So, here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite zombie game? I know, I know, there are a lot to choose from, but that's also what makes it difficult. Zombie games have come in all shapes and sizes and genres, so good luck narrowing it down to just one. In other news, I'm currently working on a review of Tesla vs. Lovecraft, which I'm hoping to have go up later in the week. I recommend you click that subscribe button and give us a like. Until then...